Okay, so now we talked about yesterday about uh, how to find a, a tangent line of a of a given graph, okay, and how to find instantaneous velocity. Okay. This is the two seemingly different problem, but actually the same. Given graph at a certain point and a instantaneous velocity. All right, so basically, what we are. Uh, uh, we are uh, computing is this kind of for example we look for the slope of the this for example this is find the slope of tangent line okay so what we do is do some approximations okay, and uh, pick a, another point. Can be to the left, can be to the right, doesn't matter. Okay. So for example, here, uh, this is H, a, a translate by H. If you have two points and then you have a Secant line. Okay. So the slope of the secant line is, let's see, this is of value f of a plus h, this is f of a. Okay, so what you compute is this difference and this difference. Okay, so delta y over delta x. But this is difference between there uh, a sorry delta. Okay. So that, that's a secant line. But now try to move a plus h to the left, meaning h goes to zero from the right. Okay, so we compute this one. So approximate. Take your time. By dragging each. So what we there. So this limit actually. Similarly, uh, we can approximate uh, from H from the left. So this is uh, A plus H is negative and drag it to the, uh, to the right. to the left of A. Okay, so you, we get something like 
interesting approximations. Same thing. So now what we define is that uh, the slope of a tangent line is this limit can be from left or right, okay? So it should be the same. This limit over H. Okay. So this is the slope. If the limit exists. All right, so uh, this is C, okay. So you can replace the uh, tangent line by uh, instantaneous velocity and you get the same, exactly the same computations. Okay. Um, slope of tangent line. can be replaced uh, by uh, instantaneous velocity. Okay. So they are two seemingly different problems, but they are actually the same. Okay. All right. So for example, Uh, we need to find, say, uh, the tangent line. Tangent line uh, for, say, uh, graph of say x uh, cubed plus x minus one at x equals say one. Find the equation for tangent line. Okay, so uh, let's find the, uh, the, the slope first. At one is this one h goes to zero. All right, so let So this is just a, okay? So one plus h, one over h. Okay, so let's compute this. In. One plus h, so replace x. Yeah, just x now. 1 plus h, okay, minus 1, and you subtract uh, 1 uh, plus 1 to minus 1, just 1, okay, and divide by h, okay, so then just compute, okay? So this, uh, remember the binomial thing? So one cube is one, and uh, three h plus three h square, okay? And plus h cube plus one plus h minus two. Okay, so then that this two cancel this. Okay, 
Okay. And this H cancel one H from top. Our one. So what left is three plus, let's see, this three H. Uh, it's square. Oh, should just write this. Three plus three H. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. And this becomes a polynomial. So this is the case when you can plug in zero in this case. So let's give you three. Okay. So point slow formula gives you uh, point slow formula. So the uh, equation for tangent line is let's see y minus one right so equals three. That's it. That's the equation for tangent line. Okay, questions? Okay, so now the question is about let's do some do some uh, example from the book. So I'll show you the Look, let me just um, share the screen so I can moving easily. Okay, can you see the textbook? Uh, yes, sir. All right. Okay, so I'll show you some more. You can see some more computation from the book, but what I would like to do here, some of the problems. Okay. Uh, so for example, <coughs> okay, like problem one. Uh, problem one, uh, See. this one okay so this is looking for the slope of the tangent line at this point here okay so this is tangent line oh let me start with problem two La later on i uh, check with problem one okay to have to remark something about what we call the tangent all right, so this is a tangent line at, uh, say, the point uh, that is five. Okay, now how do we uh, approximate that? That just by looking from, from the picture. Okay, so the slope of the tangent line is this one. So you uh, approximate the, the slope. So this M, how to find slope? That is twice over one, right? So the y difference in y divided by difference in x. Okay, so let's just take that point. Say this point. Okay, so this is delta x, this is delta y. Okay, so this is what they call twice over run. Okay, so delta y. Delta x. You run up and down, run left and right. Okay. So you see this is two, two, so this is one. Okay, so this is how you do the approximations. Okay. And like problem, for example, problem four, how you uh, how are we going to to estimate the slope. Okay. 
Uh, so this one, well, this is not the, the slope is like, say this one. No, not exactly. There, okay. So the slope here is delta y over delta x. So rise over run. So you see this is the, say, there you go. So delta y is, uh, because it's going down, so it's negative. And the x, delta x is uh, positive, going to the right. So one. See? Okay, same thing here. Okay, so let's go back to this. Uh, this one. So what we call a tangent line. So intuitive, what you learn is that a tangent line is a line that merely touch the graph at that point. Tangent line of the hinges. Uh, stated completely at x equals a. It's a line that merely touch at the point not intersecting. Okay. So this uh, fits with our intuitive notion that should be the tangent line. Okay. All right, so this is how our computation goes. But the thing here, if you try to uh, uh, what the crossing, if you have something like this, uh, let's see. Or, Okay, say here. Okay. So the tangent line should be something that looks like this one. Okay, if you extend the, the tangent line uh, to the right, so you see there are more intersections. So this A. A, F of A. Okay, so the tangent line, if extended, may it my but A intersect some other point of the graph. Okay, so uh, somehow we kind of contradict this one. So a tangent line may intersect to, uh, the graph at other point. Okay, so this one. Okay, and other thing. If you deal with a uh, cube, okay. 
and so the cube, the, the graph looks like this one. This is cubes. And we are trying to find a tangent line at zero. So let's compute this one. It's like the, sorry, that's zero. Let me just write this down, minus, okay. So, oops, zero. so this just gives you h cubed minus h, right? Which is, if you simplify h squared, it's plug in zero, that's zero. That means the, uh, the tangent line is vertical because this is m. Sorry, vertical, horizontal. Okay, so where's the, the tangent line? Tangent line is this. Okay. So it, it's not only the intersect, but it is not only touch, see? So you put questions also on Okay, so somehow you have to redefine what the tangent line is. Because the, the notion of a line that merely touch, that's not true. Or not intersecting it, that's not true. These equations show that the tangent line here is not only, uh, it is not touching, but intersecting. Okay, so this contradicts the notion of intuitive notion of, of a, a tangent line. So let's just say and contradicts. Say everything. Uh, the intuitive notion of tangent line. Okay, so what was a tangent line? So a tangent line, so we have to redefine what we have to redefine tangent line. Okay, so this is what we have tangent line. So tangent line of a graph at x equals a is the line Uh, passes through the points A, F of A, having slope M, which is the limit of if limit exists. Okay, so it doesn't matter when we, when the, the lines actually cross the, the graph, it's still called tangent line. Okay, 
So it is tangent line in view of calculus. So really you need calculus to define tangent line. Okay. Later on, we would call this limit as the derivative of f at x equals a. If limit exists, this is called the differentiable. F is differentiable at x equals a. Okay. All right, so those are the thing is it really depends on the limit exists. So let's recall when the limit does not exist. Okay. So first thing, when limit does not exist, what, what are the cases? If you recall, what are the cases? First one, what is the first one? Limit doesn't exist. If the right and left limit is different, the value. Right. So one-sided limit. Don't match. See, and not equal. And also, what are other cases? Limit doesn't uh, exist. If it has extreme oscillations, right? Extreme oscillations. Another thing, we have three cases. All right. What's limit does not exist? We have uh, one sided from two approach, left and right, uh, don't match. Okay, extreme oscillations, sine one over x, of course, sine one over x at near zero. And other thing is infinite. Okay, so let's see how, uh, uh, how this case is uh, seen from, from the graph. So question maybe. these cases from the graph. Okay. All right, so first case is uh, let's see. So just um, let me just sign. like this. This is our A. Okay. So if you approach from the from the left, uh, from the right, for example. You see, because this is line, you see that uh, from the right, or H positive, okay, when you compute this limit, okay, so it's going down. So this should be uh, negative, right? Okay, can you see this is negative? So this is delta x, delta y. Delta y is going down, so this is negative. This is positive, okay? So you can get negative. On the other hand, 
if you coming from the left yeah for example so h negative okay I just look at the, the graph without computing. Actually. Okay. So this is, seems this going, uh, it seems this is positive. This is positive, so this is positive. Okay, so there is no way that those two can match. Okay, so. Let's do some some more computation. Let's uh, compute like this: uh, absolute value of x, for example, x equal zero, a equals zero. Okay. Let's compute the limit from both sides, left and right. So this is just absolute value of Let's see. Okay. H divided by H. It is zero. So H divided by H. So this is just. So from the, sorry, from the right. Uh, when X pos uh, H positive, this is just uh, H. Remember, this h when h positive or zero minus h when h negative. Okay, so this just give you one. On the other hand, if you <coughs> use h negative, just write this down. This becomes negative h, so you divide by h. Okay, so how you look? Uh, how the graph looks like? That's because what we have here is, remember the absolute value is like the V, uh, v shape, okay? So you see if you're coming from the left, coming from the left, the tangent line here looks like this one, slope negative one here. And uh, tangent line from the right, looks like this. So they don't match. Okay. So, okay, so what we, uh, we can tell is that the graph looks like, in this case, has a, say a corner, x equals a. Okay, so this is the, the problem with this. This is a corner, see, it's a corner. So it looks like the, the graph breaks down at that point. Okay, so this uh, first case. All right, second case. Uh, well, I'm, I'm going to talk about the, the third case. The second case you don't see at the... Uh, you will see it clearly from the, from the graph. Okay, so they just the uh, when the limit this limit is infinite. So this a case three. So what happens to this one? 
I would like to do some of, uh, let's see. How we do this one. Okay, let's do this one. Uh, F of X. Uh, looks like um, square root when X is or negative, but this is negative square root of x when, <coughs> sorry, negative square root of negative x when x is negative. Okay, so when x negative, it has a, a negative sign. You put another extra negative sign, make it positive. You can then you can take the square root. And then you put negative. That means you refer to the, the graph. Okay, so the graph looks like this now. Okay, square root has the graph looks like this. So negative square root negative x is that you have this. So let's compute at zero. We have a equals zero. Okay. So we hit h. Um, okay. So what we have is, so we use the the square root. Right? So square root of h uh, minus zero. So then what you have is uh, square root, right? So one over square root of h, right? Because this is small, this is small. So this is large. That's what you have, okay? So the limit doesn't exist because it's infinity. Same thing if you compute from the left, so what you have is H. Oh, so with this negative. Okay. So what you have here is that limit here is uh, let's see. It's negative, that's zero. Sorry, that's uh, put this negative. So one over this is what you have. Okay. Uh, okay, but what we have here is that uh, let's see, this should be positive. Let's see how this uh, to explain this is positive. Negative zero going to zero defined by see this should be positive, but how to explain this is this appearance of this negative.
All right, later I'll tell you about the, the computations, the detail. But what you have is this, the limit doesn't exist. Infinite limit. Okay. Okay, so what you have is that if you think about the, the tangent line, right? It looks like this one actually, but you refer to graph. Sorry, where's that thing? Ah, there. But you, uh, let's see how you to rotate this one. Okay, rotate this one. You have a become the the horizontal become vertical. So the tangent line it looks like this now. There we go. Okay. So what it means is that vertical tangent line. Okay. So that tells you about the when the limit doesn't exist. So F is not differentiable. So from here, what we have is that uh, given the graph, uh, of functions, let's see, uh, the function is not differentiable. at what corners and then when you have vertical tangent line okay so we'll see the let's go back to the uh, the problem so when limit does not exist Sorry, let's find the there go. Order. Okay. Vertical tangent. Or later on we see that this is not continuous. Okay. Uh, let's see this graph. All right, here. The question is uh, slightly modified questions. Uh, look for the, the points where the F is not differentiable. That's, this is everything's nice. This is line. It should be differentiable. They should be differentiable. 39. 40 differentiable, 40, 41. This is the corner, so not differentiable at this corner. Corner, so you have corners. Okay, so those are when the, the graph is not differentiable. Okay, one more thing. Uh, say this is a theorem. If F is differentiable, then F is continuous. At A. Or equivalently, what you're saying is that if 
<coughs> if it's not continuous, then it's not differentiable. Then uh, it is not differentiable. Okay, so one more example of not a continuum is right. so it looks like okay here, but then you remove this here. This A. Okay, so this is not a continuous because sorry, not differentiable because not continuous at A. Yeah. So not differentiable at a equal a. All right. So there are three cases not differentiable. So first case is corner. Second case is vertical tangent. That case is not continuous. Okay. So you can see differentiability from picture, from the graph. Okay, any questions? Uh, if not, then let's take a break for five minutes. Okay, stop share and then stop the record itself. 